Hey guys, Ryan here at Signature Edits, and I just wanted to take a second to point out a new bug in the update to Premiere Pro. So a couple of days ago now, Adobe released their latest update to Premiere Pro, that's version 12.1, I believe, and I opened it up today to work on a new project we're doing with Signature Edits. A master class with Daniel Hahn. He is going through all of his photos, all of his editing, but when I went to grab the videos and drag them into my timeline, I noticed, okay, video number one works, video number two works, oh, but all of these, even though they're .mp4 files, are showing up as audio only. How odd. You click there, we got no video. All right, so how do we fix this? Well, so far, I haven't found a way to do so, but we can always downgrade our version of Premiere Pro. So I'm going to walk you through how you downgrade Premiere Pro to an earlier, more stable version until they fix this. All right, let's do it. So you open up Creative Cloud here on your Mac or PC. Go and find Premiere Pro. And instead of hitting Open or Install, whatever, you're going to hit this little drop down and then click on Other Versions. From there, you can install any of these previous versions of Premiere Pro. So we're just going to go to the last stable version that I was using, 12.0.1. Are you sure you want to? Well, yes, I do. So, install. So now that that's finished, we are going to open up Premiere Pro. It's going to take just a little bit longer than normal because it is cycling through and reloading all of the plugins, all of the assets, etc. And we'll just reopen that Daniel Hahn Masterclass project was saved from a newer version, cannot be opened in this version. Well, that kind of sucks, but for me, I wasn't very far in this project, so I'm going to just create a new project. Daniel Hahn, master class, try number two. So this is the footage that I was having issues with. Let's just import it once again. All right, and now you can see that for whatever reason, that has fixed things completely. All of our footage is showing up as actual video as opposed to sound only. So that's how you fix it and get Premiere Pro back to its old version. I hope that Adobe fixes this issue soon, but until then, we do have the workaround of just going back to our last stable version of Premiere Pro. So I hope this was helpful for you, and don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment below, and if you have a fix to this with the new version of Adobe's Premiere Pro, please let me know. Until next time, take care.